alaikum, boys and girls. Welcome to Wonder Time Laboratories, where we put the thunder. Where we put the that thing in your wonder. Ooh. I am your teacher, Dr. Dodi, imaginary Nobel Peace Prize winner. And today, we're taking a look at the mirror's question. Why is it that it's important and good and beneficial to put the needs of others before ourselves? Great question, bro. Now, uh, usually we want to say safety first. I know last time when I did it, <clears throat> I kind of made a bit of a mess. <laughs> but today, safety first. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm keeping it under control, folks, okay? Keeping it under control. Now, safety first also means using safety glasses. Safety glasses that... <clears throat> Preferably, your assistant has not used them on the surface of Mars. Bro, this, this, why is this so dirty? Okay, going to the spares. Safety first, with the spare safety glasses. Okay, now let's take a look. Here we have a bowl, a bucket of water, a container of water, let us say. This, let's just, you know, imagine today it's going to represent uh, people and places and things around us that we want to take care of. We want to uh, give first before we give ourselves. And we will have an egg that represents myself, maybe yourself. Maybe you have a beautiful mustachio <laughs> on your face. Majestic mustachio in my instance. What do you think? Ooh. And so today we're going to place this egg into the container of water. Now, I am surrounded by the people around me and I care about them. You care about the people are in, around you. And now you want to help them, you want to they, you know, they, they, maybe they've got some, uh, you've got some pizza, you've got two slices of pizza, and you, you see that your brother or your sister or your sibling, they want some. Or even before they want some, you want to give to them. Great! You're going to put their needs before your own. And this salt represents that beautiful act of giving that you're doing, that putting before others. And now, You've got your, your parents are there and you've got a glass of water that you want to drink, but you realize that your mom and dad have been very thirsty all day long after having a great day of fasting in the holy month of Ramadan. So you put them first and give to them first. And, and, and you probably want to have more experimental materials. Looks like we ran out here. It's cool. And so now we're going to utilize some of this salt. And as we give to others, we put the needs of others before our own. We uh, bring it into the container of water and um, hopefully it squeezes out, but it may plop in my face. Oh. Uh, yeah. See, that's why I've got the safety glasses on. And as we do that, we bring, we, can, can you see anything? Can you see anything happening, boys and girls? I don't know, I, don't, I see myself down there, but I'm upside down. Maybe if we stir it, we're going to be able to see some, some interesting experimental results Ooh. with putting the needs of others before our own as we've given and we've given food and we've given toys, the toys that we want, the toys that we need, but we do this for others. And let's see what happens. As we give more to others, we put the needs of others before our own. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to see the results of this experiment. What do you think? Okay, and we will spin and stir and spin and stir. And let's take a look. Let's take a look. Whoa, wait, 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 wait a second. The egg was down, and now the egg is floating. <gasps> Wait a second, I thought chickens don't fly. This egg is flying. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But it does make sense, boys and girls, because we are giving to others before we take for ourselves. Allah raises us. He brings us closer to him, 
and look, my mustache is floating in the air. Oh, oh my gosh. Subhanallah. This is something we are learning, this beautiful discovery. It is now helping us see that when we put the needs of others before our own, we climb up and raise up our souls, come closer to Allah, and maybe we'll see that this egg pops out and flies into the sky. Who knows? Inshallah, each of us will do the same.